Welcome back folks, I'm Frizz, and welcome to a highly opinionated video, since we're going to be talking about character optimization. Pathfinder 2 has taken an interesting stance on character optimization, and how it even works, which I find to be both a little annoying and also an incredible breath of fresh air. See, in Pathfinder 2e, the minimum power of a character is much, much higher, while the maximum power of a character is way lower. Essentially, due to the proficiency system, your character is never actually going to be bad at what they're supposed to be good at, so long as you have a decent ability score. Similarly, you're never going to have a level 3 martial character who has the same attack modifier as a level 7 character. Pretty much every single level 3 martial is going to have around the same attack modifier. So long as you make sure that your key ability score is a 16 or an 18, you are set. This means that you can make all kinds of crazy character concepts without having to worry about making a character that is just plain ineffective. Like, let's take a Halfling Barbarian. It's a super cool concept, but it's a little hard to make well in Pathfinder 1st Edition or D&D 5th Edition. In Pathfinder 2e though, while starting with a 16 strength is obviously not as good as having an 18 for a Barbarian, it isn't the end of the world. You just have to have a slightly lower attack and damage for only a couple of levels, and if you're okay with it, you can always take some voluntary flaws to increase that strength up to 18 at level 1. Depending on how you look at it, this design might have some bonuses or some flaws. At its core, Pathfinder 2e discourages crazy min-maxing by just not letting you do some crazy bullshit with your characters. The max part of min-max just isn't able to be done really. Yeah, you can still make optimal characters, but the differences between a like the most optimal character you can make and just an average one isn't going to be a huge difference, especially when you're comparing that vast gap in power that exists in like Pathfinder First Edition or D&D 5e between a optimized character and a non-optimized character. Again, depending on who you are and your group, that might be a bonus or a flaw. Now, I feel like it's important to talk about myself a little bit here, since I'm absolutely biased in how I'm presenting this. I learned TTRPGs with Pathfinder 1st Edition, and you had better bet that I used to min-max quite a bit. Since then, I've lightened up a lot on that, but I still try and ensure that my characters are more than capable of fulfilling their role in the party. I just don't like being the rock that dragged the party down. Pathfinder 2e is great, since I don't feel like I need to do very much to make sure that I'm not dead weight. So long as I've got the expected AC for a frontline character, I can make all kinds of quote-unquote suboptimal character choices while never really dragging down the party because I have what the game expects me to have, and that's all you need. And yeah, if you like making gods amongst men that can carve their way through entire armies or kill gods, then Pathfinder 2e might not be the right system for you. Or rather, it might not be unless you adjust your expectations a little bit, since there is absolutely still character optimization if you look for it. The difference between a party that works well together like a well-oiled machine and one that doesn't work together is huge. You can absolutely find optimization if you look for it. I guess that what I've been trying to say in this video is that I feel like the changes that were made with Pathfinder 2e that cut down on insane character optimization are ultimately for the better. The system is so, so much more accessible to new players because of it, and there are so many insane characters that you can actually make that are good in Pathfinder 2e that you'd never really be able to play remotely well in either Pathfinder 1st Edition or D&D 5th Edition. Pathfinder 2e has a completely different attitude towards min-maxing, and ultimately, I think it's for the better. Thanks for watching. It's been a little while since I've made a completely opinionated video like this, and it feels a little weird not <laughs> looking things up on Archives of Nethys while writing the script. Also, just another like quick point here, if you really enjoyed min-maxing, but you also want to play Pathfinder 2e, did you know that you don't have to exclusively play a single system? I'm currently in a Pathfinder 2e and a Pathfinder 1e game, at the same time, since I love both of the systems. A wild concept, I know. Regardless, what do you guys think about the whole 
character optimization experience in Tui. I know it's absolutely a matter of personal opinion here, so obviously people's opinions on it are going to be varied, but just don't argue too much in the comments. Regardless, until I see you next, live a wonderful life.